Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to discuss how to can we search MySQL table data by using AJAX in Code Igniter framework. We have already make video tutorial on this topic by using PHP script, but now we have make same feature by using Code Igniter framework. If you have developed any web application by using Code Igniter framework then in that application search feature is required for filter MySQL data. At that time you have used this tutorial in which you can filter or search MySQL table data and you can get result on web page without page refresh. Because here we have used Ajax at front end for send search request to Code Igniter controller and it will search data and return filter data to Ajax request and it will display on web page. Now let's start discussing this topic. So here we have testing database and in this we have customer table. In this table we have already inserted data. We will search or filter this data by using AJAX in Code Igniter application. This our Code Igniter application folder, first we want to make database, so we have go to config folder database.php file. Under this file we have defined database credential like host name set to localhost, username set to root. Password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection, now we have open autoload.php file and in libraries we have add database. So when Code Igniter application run, then this library will automatically load it. Now we have go to controller folder and in this we have already make Ajax search.php controller. We will use this controller to handle load and search data request. Under this controller first we have make index method, so when we have directly write base URL with this controller name then it will call this index method. Under this method we have write dollar this with load class object with view method and under this we have write ajax search view file. So when index method will call then it will load ajax search view file with customer data in table with search text box. Now we have go to view folder and open ajax search.php file and in this file we have already included query and bootstrap library url. On this page first we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to search text and it is equal to search text. This simple text box for search customer data from table, so user can enter their search request under this text box. Below this we have division tag with attribute it is equal to result, under this tag we will display customer data in table format. For load customer data in table format, so we have go to query code part and here we have make load data function with query argument. This function will fetch data from customer table based on query and display under division tag with attribute result in table format, if query value is blank then it will load whole table data. Under this function we have write ajax request for fetch data, so under this first we have write url option set to base url function with ajax search controller fetch method. Here we have send request to Ajax search controller fetch method. In second option we have write method and under this we can define which method we should for send data, so here we have use post method. In third option we have write data and under this we can define query variable, so here we have send query variable as data to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function will be called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with division tagged result with HTML method and under this we have write data.
Here it will receive customer data in table format and it will display that data under division tag with attribute result. After this here we have called load data function without query argument, that means when page has been loaded then this function will called it will load whole customer table data. Now we have go to Ajax search controller and here we have make fetch method. This method will receive Ajax request for fetch data. Under this method first we have defined two variable like dollar $Output and Query with blank value. After this we have write dollar $This with load object with model method and under this we have write Ajax search model. This code will load Ajax search model under this function. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar this with input object with post method and under this we have write query variable. This condition will check if this query variable value is set then it will execute if block. If this variable has value that means user has enter any search query in text box. So under if block we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this with input class object with post method with query variable. Now we have go to Ajax search model and here we have make fetch data method with dollar query argument. Under this first we have write dollar this with database class object with select method with star, this code will make query like select star. After this we have write dollar this with database class object with from method and under this we have write customer table, this code will make query like select star from customer table. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar query variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block. Under this block we have write dollar this with database class object with like method and under this we have two argument like customer name column and dollar query variable. This code will make search query for search data in customer name table column. Same way we have write dollar this with database class object with all like method with two argument, in first argument we have write address table column and second argument we have write dollar query variable. This code will add or statement in search query and it will also search data in address table column also. For search data in city table column we have write dollar this with database class object with all like method and under this we have write city column name and dollar query variable. Same way for search data in post code table column, we have write dollar this with database class object with all like method and under this we have write postal code table column and dollar query variable. Lastly for search data in country table column, we have write dollar this with database class object with all like method and under this we have write country table column and dollar query variable. So this block of code will make search query for search data in above all table column and when user enter query in text box then also this block of code will execute. Now here we have write dollar this with database class object with order by method and under this we have write customer read table column and descending order. This code will make query for select customer data in descending order based on value of customer read table column. Lastly we have write return statement with database class object with get method, this method will run select query return the results.
Now we have go to Ajax search controller fetch method and here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with Ajax search model with fetch data method with dollar query variable. Here this code will call Ajax search model fetch data method based on value of dollar query variable. And it will return customer data result based on value of dollar query variable which store in dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML table definition with table column like customer name, address, city, postal code and country. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar date variable with num rows method value greater than zero. This num rows method will return number of rows by query and if it is more than zero then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose number of rows is equal to zero then it will execute else block and under this block we have write dollar output variable and under this we have append table row HTML code with no data found message. But suppose it will return more than zero number of row then it will execute if block of code and under this block. We have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar date variable with result method as dollar row variable. This result method returns the query result as an array of objects which we can access by dollar row variable in for each loop. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag. Between this we have write open and close table data tag and between this we have write dollar o customer name object, which print customer name data. After this we have write open and close table data tag and between this we have write dollar row address object, which display address data under this column. Same way for city data we have type open and close table data and between this we have write dollar row city object which print city data. Below this we have again type open and closed table data tag and between this we have write dollar row post code object which will print post code table column data. And lastly for country data we have write open and closed table data tag and between this we have write dollar row country object which will display country data. So this way we have store customer table data under dollar output variable in table format, now we want to send to Ajax request. For this we have write echo statement and after this we have write dollar output variable. This way we can send data to Ajax request. Now friends in in browser we have write base url and after this we have write ajax search then it has load customer data in table format with search text box. Now we have enter something in text box then it has not search or filter data. For search and filter data we have to go to ajax search view file and here we have write dollar with text box it search text with key up method. So when we have typed something in text box, then code will execute. Under this method we have write search variable is equal to dollar this with value method. This code will fetch text box value and store in this variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write search variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block and under this block we have write load data function with search variable as argument. So here this load data function will filter customer data based on value of this search variable.
but above condition false then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have called load data function without argument. So here it will display all data from customer table without filter, so here our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh page and here we can see customer data in table format with text box. So when we have write Germany in text box, then it has return all data whose country is Germany without refresh of web page. Same way we have enter Paul in search text box then it has return customer data whose name start with Paul. When we have remove text from search text box then it has display whole customer table data. So this way we can search all table column data without refresh of web page because we have use Ajax. If you do not want to use jQuery data tables plugin then you can also use this type of search feature for search data from table. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.